If you are an aspiring musician, artist, composer, producer, anything to do with music or anything to do with art, I highly suggest you watch this video all the way through because the message that, or at least I believe this message is very important and I wish this was the video I had when I was getting started with all this. And it's simply to tell you that music is not going to make you happy. No matter how good you get at music, no matter if you get a Grammy or how many streams or how many millions of dollars you're making for music, it will never make you happy. No matter how much you think it will, no matter how much you love it right now, music is not gonna make you happy in this world. And here's the reasoning behind it. Because when you place all your focus on one thing, like I did in the past with music, and you prioritize everything on accomplishing your goals towards music, and you're putting everything you have to pursue them, and sacrificing every other aspect of your life to the point where it's actually deteriorating, deteriorating your quality of life, you're not gonna get anywhere. And even if you do get that success, you're not gonna be happy. You see, one thing that I've been wanting to do for the for as long as I can remember, honestly, is come and travel the world, be in a new place on my own, traveling, see different places. And I am currently traveling in New Zealand. I have been for the past two months and it has been amazing. But the thing that really kind of hit me when I got here was how underwhelming the whole experience was gonna be. See, I placed over the last two years when I was really kind of hyping myself up for this and like just anticipating it, I was expecting it to be this amazingly new experience and just like being here was gonna make me feel so much better and my life was gonna change so much. But the thing is, I got here and things honestly aren't really that different. Yeah, it's kind of nice, but honestly, I feel exactly the same as I did back home. Once you get here and after that 15 seconds of initial excitement is over, it's exactly the same. It's That's how anything works. That's how any accomplishment in life works. And it's the same with music. It's great to work hard towards something and it's great to have something that you're constantly feeling fulfilled from and feel gives you purpose. But the thing is that I see so many people do, they place too much value on achieving those goals and especially if they're materialistic they're always waiting oh until i get 10,000 monthly listeners on spotify and say so you work really hard you cut off all your friends to do that and you get there then what happens there's 20,000 monthly listeners to get to and there's more money to make and there's label deals to sign and there's all this stuff and all all this success and the path just keeps going up and up and up and you can keep working as hard as you want but the thing is it's never going to be enough you're never going to be satisfied with the success that you have and even those things once you get them they only make you happy for like 15 seconds if your baseline happiness is here there's a little dopamine boost when you get that thing and then after like Maybe it lasts a day, maybe you're lucky. Like you really ride that high and then it's back to here. Or it's even down here because you don't have that purpose anymore to work towards that goal and you don't know what to do with yourself. The thing as an artist is you can't dedicate all of your life to your art and solely do that. You can't make music your personality. You can't make everything you focus on just music. You have to take care of the other aspects of your life. And there's a very fine line with this. There's a very fine line between putting lots of time and practice into your eff like a lot of effort into your music and your studies or whatever you're doing and taking care of your life and doing the things that actually make you happy because when it comes down to the science of well-being and the silence of just happiness in general there's very few things that actually make you happy and a big one is taking care of your mental health which a lot of people don't do there's this big movement about oh work hard and especially school always pushes this on us work hard and get good grades and you need 90s in every class and a plus a plus like keep keep going keep getting better grades study for this study for that and there's this supposed to be this movement of like oh mental health and awareness but has anyone actually ever told you how to actually take care of your mental health what habits you're supposed to do to take care of your mental health. And that's the thing that I really didn't realize until about two and a half years ago, once I finally started to discover what I should actually be doing to take care of my mental health, not only did I get better at music faster, I just enjoyed it more, even though I was putting more of my time towards spending t time doing things that were improving my mental health, my overall ability in music just went up here and I enjoyed it so much more because I was just genuinely happier. We don't work well when we're depressed. You can be constantly having that mindset of like, oh, just keep working harder, just keep working and feeling like you're being productive, but what you're actually doing is just 
not only are you not taking care of your mental health and it's getting worse, you're not progressing as fast as you could be. And this is where that fine line comes in. It's actually more productive to take care of your mental health and spend time doing things that just improve your quality of life than actually just practicing all day. More time spent practicing doesn't necessarily mean better results in whatever you're doing. It's like the students who study eight hours every single day but have spend no time with their friends. Maybe they don't even really have any friends because they're always focused on studying. The people who get the best grades, honestly, are the people who can balance that time. They spend time with their friends and still study a lot, but still have that positive life experience and still actually enjoy their life and get those good grades. And the thing is, what is all that practice gonna be worth and all that success if you're working towards becoming a musician or getting into music school or learning to play that piece? If you don't have anyone to share that success with, what is it worth being a great musician if you can't play for anyone who's actually passionate about, like, or, sorry, who's actually, who's actually, who you actually care about and is legitimately important in your life? Because it doesn't matter how good you are, if you go, if you go out on a stage and you look back in that crowd and see no one that you know, that compares nothing to what it's like to be at a show playing something you're genuinely passionate about in front of people you legitimately love, like your family and your friends and seeing them smile when you get up on stage. Success is nothing if you have no one to share it with. And this is something I've constantly been trying to fight between with a lot of aspects of my life. When I used to really prioritize basketball before music was the main thing I did, I would, I was so focused on getting as best as I could be, possibly like putting all of my time towards getting good at basketball. And the thing was when I went out to actually play, I wasn't even the best player on the court most of the time, even though I practiced all this, all this much, it was simply because other people enjoyed playing basketball more than me because they knew people that were there, they were playing with and they were just having a positive outlook on it. And they were just naturally more relaxed and weren't so caught up in, taking themselves too seriously as I was because, oh, I need to get better, I need to get better, I need to get better. And I was putting all this time in for absolutely nothing because the rest of my life wasn't actually enjoyable and I wasn't happy. I wasn't f like, sure, I was working hard, but it wasn't for anything because I wasn't actually fulfilled. So as a musician, you need to prioritize the other aspects of your life. You need to take care of your mental health. I'm gonna link a video right here if you wanna go actually learn about the four key habits that I do to actually take care of my mental health. You need to take care of your physical health as well. This comes from exercising. I don't care what kind of exercise you do, whether it's weightlifting, whether it's running, whether it's just going for a walk up in the mountains of New Zealand for a hike or playing basketball, just do something, just move and make sure you're actually just taking care of your health. That means good sleep, that means eating as best as you can and also making sure that your relationships are good, making sure you're actually spending time to enjoy those moments with your family that you're not gonna have all that much, or spending time with your friends if you're still in high school. Make sure you prioritize, not necessarily put it above everything else, but make sure you spend enough time with your friends in those moments because the thing is, life goes by so fucking fast. It goes by so quickly. You're gonna wake up one day, then you'll be graduated out of high school, and everyone's moving to these different parts of their life and you're gonna be like just sitting there realize like oh my god that much time went by and that's what happened to me and i'm extremely grateful that i spent that time learning how to balance my life so i have memories with my friends i have memories with my family i have memories of playing music and playing sports and doing all these things that i loved and i wouldn't do anything differently because it all got me to this point and it all I became a better musician because I did all those other things and I have a better sense of who I actually want to be and who I am right now because I did all those things and I didn't just put all my eggs in one basket and I didn't think music was the only thing that's going to make me happy because there's more to life than simply being a good musician. If you want to join my free online community on how to overcome writer's block, a video is in the description with that. If you want to learn about how to take care of your mental health as a musician, that video is also in the description. Without further ado, that is it. And never stop creating, my friend. I will see you in the next one.